Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brad Hurd. My phone number is 864-236-1680. Or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. I'm going to talk about how to build a simple tool so that you can press out bearings. On the previous video, I talked about the victor and the end bearing and this bearing gets stuck and how gently you have to work. So let me show you how this works. You don't need to go as far as I do, but over the years I've built punch blocks. This punch block is so I can hold it down and do things. You don't have to go that far. But what you need to know is how big around is the bearing that I want to get out without breaking a casting. So we got our veneer calibers out. And Yeah, it's about half an inch, but we don't want to go half an inch. We don't want to go three quarters because when you see this Morrison wood drill, you, I look here, you see how far over these edges are mm -hmm. to the bearing? Mm -hmm. Well, that puts pressure on the outside of the casting and not the bearing. So what we're going to do, because I measured it, I'm going to go to five eighths. Okay, so what we do is we get a piece of two before. You can you, you don't need a drill press. If you got a hand drill, you can do it. Whoopsie, Brett. <laughs> Man. You want to make sure that you look at the casting because this casting has an angle piece down here and this side doesn't so that's the side we're going to press out because if it's on this side it's not going to be level so we're going to put it in here and we'll go this is a rocket science that's about it you just Table too low. Sorry about that. You want to go deep enough in the two before that the bearing clears. Now you can mount this in your vise. I didn't bottom out so the bearing will fit. So you open the vise. And two befores are your friend, trust me. Not this side. Ah, but this side. So then we have that, and we can punch that out. And we can take a small punch, and you can tap, and that'll drop the bearing out. And it's supporting the casting. So the casting won't break. You always have to look at the material you're working on and go, will this break the casting? So I use the flat side. It's an easy way to get them out. And I just want to point out really cool tricks about how, on rebuilding phonographs. You know, I don't want you to be working on one on a Sunday afternoon like I am right now. And you go, boop, oh crap, it broke. We don't want to have that, you know? And the joke is, I'm a professional, don't try this at home, but that's the joke, and that's my tip for the day.